Please welcome Tom Papa. Hello. Hello. How's it going? <laughs> My name's Tom. I'm a married guy. I've been married for a while. I was married once before. It didn't work out. It's all right. Nah, it's all right. It was an arranged marriage put together by drugs and alcohol. <laughs> this one's good. We've got a uh, two-year-old at home. Very annoying. I don't recommend you do that at all. <laughs> but we're in it, so we decided to have another one. I knocked my wife up for a second time. I don't know why a woman would allow herself to be knocked up more than once. It's amazing what it does to your body. My wife's breasts quadruple in size. They're F's. F, D's are fun. F's are scary. In the middle of the night, the left one just turns to me. You want to do something? No. Come on, she's asleep. Watch TV or something. Her hormones go insane, too. She wants to fool around more than any other point in our relationship, which is really scary. It's like being chased around the apartment by a horny snowman. <laughs> Come back. It's weird with the kids now. You got to tell them they're great at everything, which is a crock. You know, we're human beings. Really, we all suck at most things. These kids, you got to tell them they're great at everything. It's better to be honest with them. You know, I, I wanted to be an astronaut. My parents came to me. You can. <laughs> You're almost retarded. <laughs> I should have had kids younger, though, you know? 35, you shouldn't be banging out kids at this age. People older than me are doing it, though. 60, 70, having kids? That's wrong. <laughs> old sperm makes old sperm kids. <laughs> it's true. I see them in the park. Young sperm kids doing flips on the monkey bar, zooming around 100 miles an hour. Old sperm kids in a sweater on the bench. <laughs> oh, <geez. laughs> I'm just starting to feel older now, like at this point. I feel kind of crummy almost once or twice every day. You know what I mean? Like when I was 18, if I had a pain in my chest, I remember thinking, oh, I'll be better by the morning. Now I think I'm going to be dead by the morning. <laughs> And you really want to feel like you're dying? Go on the internet, check out WebMD. You ever do this? You type in Snipples on this website, the list of heinous diseases they put up. I had syphilis, gonorrhea. I started getting sweaty and nervous. I had menopause. Because you know nature's gonna win, you know? You're not gonna beat nature. I see pictures of my grandmother when she was young. She was stunning, a beautiful young woman, a knockout, really. She looks like Ben Franklin now. <laughs> she does. Kind of bald here, long hair in the back, big pot belly, wears her glasses on the tip of her nose. You put a kite in her hand, she's Benjamin Franklin. I'm such a nerd now. I really can't handle anything. I can't even drink hard alcohol anymore. I really can't handle it. Hard alcohol is the only thing you put in your body that actually comes with a story. So you want some tequila? No, dude. The last time I had that. <laughs> Nothing else. You know, you want some jelly beans? No. The last time I had jelly beans, ended up with my pants around my ankles, face down in the mall. <laughs> Seriously, dude, get them out of here. I can't even smell the black ones. I'm serious. <laughs> Let myself go, too. I can't lose weight. I can't do it. It's just impossible. That's why I'm wearing a jacket tonight, not to be fancy, just to cover my blubber. It's like wrapping paper. <laughs> just cover it up. You ever feel like such a useless piece of crap <laughs> that you just start exercising in the middle of some other activity? Like your brain gets fed up with how lazy your body is, and it's just like, run now. <laughs> that explains the guy you see jogging in his jeans and t-shirt every once in a while down the side of the road. He's like, shouldn't I put on some pants? No time, fatty. Hit it. <laughs> Good applause, fat people. I'm trying to get into shape, though, for the summer. I moved from the regular bathing suit to the Speedo, which is kind of creepy, I know, but come on. I've got a wife and a two-year-old, you know? I've got wagons filled with crap, diaper bags on me. No women are looking at me anymore. 
<laughs> so I figure if I wear the Speedo, they'll be horrified, but at least they'll give me a glance. <laughs> the only thing creepier than seeing a guy in a Speedo is seeing a guy in a Speedo staring back at you. My favorite clothes, though, are the sweatpants. That's happiness, isn't it? Oh, you put on your sweat... Worst piece of clothing you own. Paint on the crotch, hole in the ass. The bottoms are all frayed. Because at home, you don't even pick your feet up. You're just going to drag them around. But I think it's the waistband. I think that's really the key to how happy you are. Because it doesn't matter how fat and overweight you are. You put on your sweats, you're in pretty good shape. Yeah, I'll have another cookie. Why not? I got plenty of room. Thank you all very much.